Former Governor David Cargo, you were the very first person to institute a film commission in the state of New Mexico while you served in the Roundhouse. Uh, now there's a major debate going on over the film incentives. So there's been a forum, and Governor Susana Martinez has decided in her budget to slash the uh, film incentive from 25% to 15%. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, I started the first motion picture commission in the world, not just in New Mexico. And uh, the thing is that she's attacking the film industry, and you don't want to do that. Uh, she needs to learn a little bit about the, the filmed entertainment. She needs to learn a little bit about how you approach these people. And I had no subsidy when I was governor, and I brought in a billion and a half dollars worth of movies. Well, then maybe and she's right. She's not wanting to eliminate the film industry. She just wants to cut back on the, the level of uh, incentives that are, they are that, offered. That may well work, but you don't explain it the way she is explaining it. You see, she's explaining this in a campaign mode, and you don't do that because you're not running against the motion picture companies. You're, you're, running, uh, you're running a state, and you've got to be involved not in politics, but in government. But don't you think she's and right when she says yes. that that money could be better spent with uh, families Absolutely. and children in the Absolutely. state? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, there's no yeah. question about it. But well, at the same time, it's how you say it. It's how you say it. It isn't exactly what you say. It's how you say so it. So what are you objecting to uh, primarily? Well, I'm saying that she ought to be talking about the advantages that the motion picture industry brings to New Mexico, how affirmative it is, uh, how much we gain out of it, uh, all of the wonderful things that they've really done here. So it's a and way to reassure the it's industry. It's a way of reassuring them. And she needs to make a trip to Hollywood and talk not to Governor Brown. She needs to go out there and talk to the people in the industry and reassure them that they can film in New Mexico and make a profit. But what about these people that say that the um, Hollywood and uh, producers chase the highest um, incentives that are being offered? That's not necessarily true. Or otherwise they'd all go to Louisiana or Michigan and uh, they don't do that. Uh, they go where they can film and do it the most effectively, and they've got the most cooperation, and they're welcomed. You see, it's the welcome mat that, that brings them in. And, you, you, you know, you, you bring in more people by uh, empathizing with them and understanding what their problems are and, and working with them. So what marks would you give Governor Richardson's efforts in the film industry? Uh, well, he gave himself an A. I'd give him some, what, somewhat less of a grade. Uh, he worked at it, but he, he depended almost entirely uh, on uh, subsidies. And he'd go to California instead of going to Hollywood. He'd go see Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not going to send films to New Mexico any more than Ronald Reagan would. And uh, I never went to see Ronald Reagan. When you set up the very first film commission here, yeah. uh, did you ever anticipate seeing studios like we have now at Mesa del Sol and up yeah, and down? Yeah, I really did. Yeah, I did. And that was part of what I envisioned. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a vision for what we were going to do in film entertainment. And... Uh, and I had a plan. I had a, a way of working it out, and, and, and it worked rather well, extraordinarily well. Great. Just real quick to uh, finish up today, what did you think of uh, Governor Susana Martinez's State of the State address? It was her first as elected governor. Well, I, I think, unfortunately, that part of it was political. And she's got to make the transition from being in a campaign to being governor. And uh, she, she had a lot of things that were good, but she's talking about things that are exciting, partisan uh, feelings, and that's not going to get her uh, through the legislature. Uh, she's got to get after things that she can agree with them on. She's got to work with them. You can't antagonize them. Well, she's been pretty smart 
hiring she um, is. two former state uh, Legis- legislators, yeah. uh, both in Keith Gardner and well, Brian Moore. Both of them are very able people. They're the best at what she's hired, and uh, there's no question about that. They're able, able people, and I greatly respect them. Are you going to spend some more days up here yeah, over I'll the next few months? Yeah, mm-hmm. I sure will. Great.